Hello to all of our Silver Inner Health Circle members. Uh, I'd like to uh, kind of pick up where I left off last time. We talked a little bit about some of the most recent Alzheimer's research that's being done, and I want to just touch on the two things that came out of this research. Number one was very, very interesting. Um, they're finding that there are two things that are involved with Alzheimer's. One is inflammation. Now, you know I've given you uh, a great deal of information regarding inflammation in the body and its negative effects. Um, if you want to learn more, go to our website at www.centerfornutritionandwellness.com and you can uh, punch into the toolbar at the top, the search bar. Anything I've written on inflammation will come up. Okay, so if you just type in inflammation, that'll come up. And you can learn a little bit more about how inflammation actually has significant negative effects on your body. Virtually any um, condition that ends in itis, like arthritis or um, uh, colitis, they are all inflammatory conditions. So um, just understand that inflammation affects our bodies in negative ways. And here's another way we're finding uh, with Alzheimer's disease. So inflammation is one of the factors, but the other one, which I think you'll find very interesting, is that these researchers have found recently that um, the herpes simplex 1 virus is uh, found in the brains of uh, Alzheimer's patients. That's really bizarre. Um, you know, herpes simplex 1 is the one uh, that causes cold sores. Now, in our office, we use a supplement called lysine for cold sores, and it's very effective. It drives the virus back. But you have to realize that viruses, the way they work, they actually impregnate their DNA into your cells. So a viral cell will kind of inject its DNA into your cells. And this is how, uh, at least in my understanding, the um, viral DNA gets into the brains of these patients, these people who, who uh, end up with Alzheimer's disease. So the point that we touched on last time relative to the um, neurofibrillary um, plaques or what we call the amyloid plaques um, is that these plaques are actually protective in the brains of Alzheimer's patients. And one of the things that they're finding is that the cells in the brain have become, uh, for lack of a better term, infected with the DNA of the herpes simplex 1 virus actually causes inflammation that the plaques are protecting the brain against. So uh, again, I referenced last time a drug study that was being done and it moved it along a great deal in the research process but it actually was halted because the drug was designed to eliminate these plaques in the brain. And actually, the, the researchers found that by eliminating the plaques, they were furthering the Alzheimer's uh, signs and symptoms. They were making the condition worse. So we uh, have two issues that we look at now with Alzheimer's. The one is this interesting issue about um, herpes simplex 1 virus being a, a causative factor, or at least a contributing factor. And there are other viral infections too that can be contributing, and the inflammation that occurs as a result of this. So two things that we want to do to combat this. Number one, we want to keep our immune system functioning at the highest possible level we can. Number two, we want to bring down the inflammatory load in our bodies. How do we do that? I've talked about it before, go on the site, check it out. but understand that we have a group of cleansers just getting ready to start up with their full system detox cleanse at the center. And one of the things they're going to be doing in the process of their cleanse is decreasing the inflammatory load in their bodies. They're going to be reducing inflammation throughout their whole systems. And this is why patients who go through their cleanse oftentimes have a reduction in arthritic symptoms, in bowel symptoms, in bladder symptoms because they can all be inflammatory in nature. So, I wanted to bring you that information this time around in our video to you. Um, I will be writing an article, it should be out in our next uh, newsletter or the following one about this research so that you can read a little bit more about it and uh, maybe study a little bit more about this condition which is going to be affecting 
hundreds of thousands more people in the coming decades. So it, it's critical that we get on top of this, start doing things to prevent it, and understand the process. All right, have a great day. Keep up the good work. Get out there and eat some good fruits and vegetables, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.